Now to the growing concerns over monkeypox. Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency in California. He is hoping to speed up efforts to tackle the outbreak. Now keep in mind, we have 800 cases here in California alone. Now, so how does the virus spread and who is most at risk? This morning, ABC 10's Monica Coleman joins us in studio to answer some of these pressing questions this morning. Monica? This is a case of supply and demand. Think about the early days of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout. Remember the long lines and scrambling to find a clinic with available doses? Well, health officials say that's where we are right now and encourage those who are eligible to get vaccinated as soon as they can. But that's easier said than done. The state of emergency declared by Governor Gavin Newsom is supposed to speed up vaccination distribution. That need was apparent at the Sacramento LGBT Community Center yesterday, where less than an hour after opening, people were turned away as fewer than 150 doses ran out quickly. The line stretched down 20th Street and around the corner along J Street. I think if folks are eligible, they should be doing everything within their power to get vaccinated. Health officials say monkeypox has been spreading through mostly skin-to-skin -skin contact among men who have sex with men. In the emergency order, Governor Gavin Newsom says we'll continue to work with the federal government to secure more vaccines, raise awareness about reducing risk, and stand with the LGBTQ community. Since mid-May, Sacramento County has received just under 3,200 doses of the monkeypox vaccine Geninos, and this requires two doses spaced 28 days apart, with full protection protection coming two weeks after the final dose. I hope that as our federal government starts to ramp up more production of the vaccine, it becomes more widely available to folks. Currently, demand is outpacing supply. California has received more than 61,000 vaccine doses and has distributed more than 25,000 doses. Monkeypox typically lasts two to four weeks. While most people recover just fine, children and people with weakened immune systems are at risk for severe disease. So we've talked about the demographic. Who's most affected by this? Right now it's men because that's who's being affected right now, men who have sex with men, but anybody can get this monkeypox disease. So we've seen a pregnant woman get it along with two children, one of them right here in California. Mm. Wow. Okay, Monica Coleman, thank you.